DIA. <laughs> yeah, it looks a little foggy there, doesn't it? Not much in the way of visibility around Denver. That is going to make for another tough commute for Denver drivers. Take a look at the temperatures. If you have anything to do outside, bundle up. Here's what the temperature feels like. Around Denver, feels like it's 7 degrees. Also feels like 7 degrees around Colorado Springs. A little warmer in Pueblo. 31 never looked so good, especially in comparison to those single digits. So needless to say, it is cold out there now, and it's only going to get colder as we take you into the rest of the night. We are still tracking a bit of light snow and a few flurries out there this evening. We will keep those around through the first part of tonight. It's going to stay cold not only tonight, but through the day tomorrow and even into your Thursday. But the good news is I do have a nicer weekend forecast for you. I will show that to you in just a minute. Let's get you through the next 24 hours first. Skycast showing a few of those pockets of snow that we're hanging on to out there right now. We'll see those begin to diminish as we head toward 1145 midnight tonight. The only area where we expect snow to continue to fall will be up across the high country where you'll notice that into 7 o'clock tomorrow morning, snow still piling up in the mountains. Taking you into tomorrow at lunchtime, we are expecting to see a bit more sunshine should really help to clean up, to clean up the roads rather here in southern Colorado. Here's a look at lunchtime tomorrow. Not expecting to see any more snow as we head through your Wednesday. Could get a few clouds to build in as we take you into Wednesday night. Here's a look at 6 o'clock. All the while, snow still piling up in the ski resort. So great conditions for skiers, but traveling along I-70 west of Denver is going to once again be very difficult tomorrow. So keep that in mind if you're heading in that direction. Temperatures tonight will be dropping into the teens for the lower elevation. So it is going to be a very cold night up in the high country, the mountains, mountain valleys, looking for single digits and below zero temperatures. Tomorrow afternoon, it will be slightly warmer than it was out there today, but will still stay unseasonably cold. 30 degrees will be your high in Colorado Springs. We'll warm it to 36 in Pueblo, 28 for the San Luis Valley, Leadville, only looking for a high temperature of 13. Checking out your Colorado Springs seven day forecast 30 tomorrow. Another cold front moves through early on Thursday, dropping Thursday's high temperatures back into the 20s. Thursday morning could see another shot at snow. However, it doesn't look like we will see as much snow on Thursday as we had with this system that just moved through. We'll keep an eye on it, though. Stick with us. 44 on Friday, 51 sounds awfully nice. We'll get into the 50s on Saturday. Slightly cooler Sunday, Sunday night. We will have another cold front that pushes through, dropping temperatures once again into the low 40s with another chance for snow late Sunday. In Pueblo, 36 degrees tomorrow. We'll hit 33 on Thursday. 40s are back Friday with 50s sticking around Saturday into Sunday. Looking to stay dry here as we head through the next seven days in Pueblo. Canyon City, 35 tomorrow, 33 Thursday. 40s turn into 50s Friday and Saturday. Sunday Lake could see another shot at some snow with 40s expected early next week. And in Teller County tomorrow, 24 is all we're going to get to. Overnight lows will be very, very cold. So tonight's one of those nights where you'll want to leave the cabinets open. You want to let the faucet drip. And of course, if you have any pets, please bring them out or bring them inside. They don't like to be cold any more than we do. And it looks like it is going to stay very December like here through Thursday. Things will begin to turn up though Friday and into the weekend. The weekend looking very nice. Yeah. Take we'll that. Des we deserve it after the shoveling today and all those mm -hmm. wind drifts, oh, snow drifts. Brutal. I tell you what, yeah, it was cold. It's I shoveled about half my driveway. That was it. You're, That's you're enough. <laughs> that was